Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to play PS2 games on a PS3. Okay, head over to my blog. Uh, recently, I just uh, uploaded a couple of links for a React PSN as well as um, a PS2 Classics placeholder. So, download the two of them here and um, copy them to your USB. So, also make sure your USB is formatted to FAT32. See that there? And just going to open the React PSN. I'm going to drop that in the USB. Okay, and then the Classics placeholder. When you open this one, drag all three of these so you have the EX data, the license folder and in the package file drag all three of those into the USB and then you should be left with this type of thing sorry for the shaky cam okay let's get through this quick so eject your drive out of your computer and take it into your PS3 go up to install package files install the PS2 Classics Placeholder R3 okay and then install oops that's the wrong one gotta install the React PSN okay complete great now what we do is we go over here we create a new user and I'm gonna name him A. -A. Okay. Again, sorry for the shaky cam. Okay. Go over to React PSN, click X, and keep the USB drive in. You need that X data and license folder on there. And make sure it's in the right USB port as well. I almost forgot about that. Now click X. So if everything went right, your PlayStation should reboot. And the user. So, also what you should have done, you should have copied your PS2 game ISO to the PS2 ISO folder on your hard drive. Doesn't matter if it's external or internal, it just has to be in the PS2 ISO folder, all caps. So that's one uh, step I actually skipped, because it's kind of a long process to copy the ISO all the way over, and no, no, no. Alright, so we have those two here. Let's open Multiman. And since we have the PS2 game in the PS2 ISO folder, um, in the retro column, Multiman will pull up that whatever PS2 games or retro games you have. So, first thing you gotta do is click on the game, and then it'll generate another copy of it in a specific place. And then once that's done, you click on that. And just like a PS3 game, it'll load you back to the regular PlayStation XMB cross media bar. And you will think you all so and then you go up to your PS2 Classic placeholder. Press X. Point of truth. And then you have to restart the controller for some reason. So if you have any questions, I'll try and answer.